Okay, uh, so I was asked the question of A Course in Miracles, I'm determined to see things differently. And, um, and then perhaps having variable willingness and variable uh, uh, and also curiosity in whether one wants to use it on certain objects or, or not or certain belief systems or ideas, you know, being determined to see things differently. I'll just say it's the the great thing with the Course in Miracles for me, I mean there's a more of an underlying issue with doing the Course in Miracles. One is, um, and I was talking to this individual, is you know, just do it whether whether you understand it or not. And like in my experience and this person's experience, you you'll get it eventually. It's like and for me it's like just have the faith to do it, whether it's easy or difficult or whatever it is. And then it's like it's I mean it could be, I mean I certainly see it like it's like the ego is in such resistance to the course lessons because it's the opposite of the ego. The ego doesn't want to see things differently. So it's it's gonna be uh, with certain things, uh, the ego is going to resist very hard. You know, it's going to resist very hard and make excuses not to do it. But just in doing it, there's a, just in the intention to go through the daily lessons and do them. It's like you're linked into huge amounts of spiritual aid, and it's like even though the ego is resisting getting the spiritual messages, uh, it, they do eventually filter in, and you do get it, and it's such a great thing. And you're shifting up in levels of consciousness as these things are as you're basically smashing your ego to pieces by doing the lessons because it's the ego the course of miracles is aligned at undoing completely the ego and the ego's vested interest is in keeping its dominion and not undoing anything that it's holding on to uh, so uh, the course of miracles says in in in, uh, in some of its lessons and this is quite human it's like um, the negative thoughts, you definitely want to get rid of those ones, but the, the ego has things that it thinks are good belief systems or happy belief systems, like, I don't know, I like donuts or so, whatever it is. So it goes, oh, I'm, I'm not suffering from donuts, you know, I'm suffering from rat poison, uh, but not donuts, so I want to keep the donuts going. Um, so I don't really want to do it too much on that. But then the Course says, like, even the good thoughts and belief systems you have are still blocking you off from um, the absolute, you know, the absolute light and love and unity and oneness that's available through even letting go of what the ego argues are the good belief systems it doesn't want to let go of. So, um, so they're determined to see, and as someone was mentioning in the group, it, you just whether, you know, it's this thing which I've, I've seen, and I'm a hypnotherapist as well, it's like, even if you say something, whether you believe it or not, if you keep saying it, it will smash through the belief eventually. You know, so uh, if, if, you, if I say, like at the moment, I'm cancelling, I cancel my belief in breathlessness. You know, um, at the moment, the only reason I have uh, a blocked nose is because I believe in such a thing. And I believe that medication can do such a thing. So, so uh, and so the belief is, seems to have manifested. So if I do a cancel belief, like the ego's going, well, that's not real because the block nose is real. But then eventually you keep doing it. And my experience is that, you know, these things eventually, they disappear. And then you stop doing them and then you forget you ever had them. And I had that with about, like I was just sharing earlier, with 13 medications. I just canceled my belief in the side effects. And it took two and a half to three years. It was such a miracle. And, you know, over the two to three years, the doctor said, you don't need that medicine, you can stop taking that. If you don't need that medicine, you can stop doing it. So all I did was I took the medicines, but cancelled my belief they had any adverse side effects. So I, mean, I, did, I was happy to keep the belief that they had positive effects. But what the paradox of just doing that was that the, the doctors just stripped away and said, you don't need all of these medications, and stopped 12 of them. So that's a miracle. So, um, so just even if you say something and you totally disbelieve it, like, that the world seems to be showing me information to the contrary. As long as my will's aligned with the Holy Spirit, you know, aligned with miracles and divinity and the highest good, then, you know, my experiences, those tend to, you know, clear up eventually. So it's just the ego's unwillingness, you know, and just by committing to do that. So I'm determined to see things differently, and it doesn't matter. Like, I did the course, like, almost religiously every year for about 10 or 11 years. And I've stopped doing it now, the daily lessons. But I'm sort of pray, praying 
I'm constantly doing counsellings and prayers throughout the whole day, so it's just gone on its own way, kind of thing. But um, is the thing of just every day you do your course lesson, it's just smashing another aspect so that the next time you come around and do the course, you'll go at a much deeper level and you'll be at a much higher vibration of happiness on the next year. So each, each lesson is chipping away at it. Uh, some of the lessons, also, um, it's just, I've, I've, you know, running a course in miracle groups for many years, same thing, I mean, you, the ego just doesn't like holding on or saying the ideas and finds it very difficult, like, you know, this thought is having an effect on someone else or whatever it is that the course lesson is saying. They are difficult, but just, you know, making the willingness to try and say it. It's like you're aligning yourself, and that some, I do agree, some of the course languaging is a bit difficult, but you're aligning yourself with... Um, uh, very, very high vibrations, which are the opposite, which is why the ego doesn't want to remember them. Like, I'll read a course lesson, and I've said it like 50 times during the day, and I just forget, what was it that I'm trying to do? You know, like, <laughs> let me, and I would get my card out again, I've just forgotten, I said it. But that's such a high vibration. You know, if it's something like, I hate my neighbour, you can remember that the whole day without <laughs> a reminder. If it's something like, you know, something like... Uh, uh, something uh, from the course, you can forget it very quickly because the ego doesn't want to remember, doesn't want to be aligned at that vibration. You know, uh, what's a good one? Yeah, like uh, a cancer, you know, God did not create duality, for example. I could say God did not create duality and so it's not real. Like the ego wouldn't want to remember that, you know, because uh, it would, uh, it would, but it, ego would love something that's full of guilt, full of fear, full of anger, full of remorse, full of whatever. Uh, it finds it very easy because it's because it's not an alignment with the ego's vested interest for it to disappear. So it won't remind you. Like it, it will take it'll it'll fight tooth and nail to remember things which will uh, destroy the the ego's foundations and beliefs very quickly. So. Um, just, just do it. How, you know, to anyone doing the course, you know, you, um, uh, d if you can do the lessons every day, and commit to do that, and just do it to the best of your ability, and don't because the ego is just trying to bait you all the time uh, with doubt when you do the course of miracles. Like I didn't do it perfectly today, so I'm going to stop today, or, or whatever it is. And uh, and then you know, most students doing a course of miracles do stop within a few weeks. And then they'll come back again and might try it again in a few years and then do it a couple of months and then stop. So um, I can say that it's really, really something just to do a lesson a day. And I did it for 10 years. I had so many illnesses release, so many miracles occur that uh, it's well worth the thing. It's making a commitment. Uh, the, the ego wants separation and it feeds on fear, guilt, shame. Uh, and judgment. So to commit to doing the course is, you know, do you want to be happy? It's to be happy and in oneness all the time, eternally. So, um, but yes, uh, I was hearing someone and there's going to be, it's going to bring up a huge amount of fear, you know, uh, with certain cherished belief systems, you know, and, uh, but, you know, just, if you do it with the ones, if you just keep doing it, even those will come under the block eventually. Because um, what you don't realize is that if you did the course on day one, the lessons on day one, and um, on day two you're a totally different person to the person you were on day one, and on day three you're a different person, so it's shifting stuff. So the stuff, the person you were on day one m would be totally unwilling with, to let go of certain things, but just by doing it every day and becoming a different person who would eventually become willing to let go of things who wouldn't imagine you'd be able to be willing to be let go, to let go of. So it's a virtuous it's a virtuous circle with commitment. Mm.